is at the minute it, they are so obviously miles off it so obviously miles off it like I, I, I read a little thing in the paper today about the the wage bill of, of Man United players my gosh have a yeah. look at this little bad boy is honestly. that why you've not retired yet just in case yeah, just in case that call comes <laughs> um, I'll take I'll take a fraction of what some of these have are honestly um, it's crazy money and like even like Casemiro Casemiro doesn't want to leave Real Madrid. He would. Uh, why would you want to leave Real Madrid? I know it's Man United, right? I, mm. I know this, okay. But Man United aren't what Man United used to be. They're not. They might be statistically the biggest club in the world and in name as well. Right? In name for sure. But they are not what they used to be. Why would you want to leave Real Madrid? The only reason why you're leaving is because somebody's gone right. We'll give you three hundred grand a week. You're thirty years old. It'll be a what four or five year deal. Yeah. yeah. But, but I've haven't got a problem with that. You know, the other day, I remember Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher effectively having a go at Jesse Lingard for. Choosing Nottingham Forest over West Ham because the money was. But, 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 but Jesse's one year. If Casemiro is going to leave Real Madrid to get a five-year deal at thirty on four hundred grand a week, but why? I would do it. But why has anyone got a problem with that? That they're earning lots of money and they're and they're moving for no, but you've the got money. A, you've got a question in the motivation. Yeah, well, that's of the, the player. Thing. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's sort but of they're screams. Human, they're human beings for right? sure. For sure, it screams a little bit though of of a mercenary. Like he might not be Casemiro isn't a mercenary. He's a defensive. He will work. But his would you, have you ever chosen a club that's offered you less money? No, I've never. Goalies don't get in that yes. position, Andy. Come yes. on, go yeah. on, Benty. Go on, West Ham. I've told you before. I could have gone to West Ham before Tottenham. Went and met Alan Kerbyshire when he was in charge. Yeah, of Yeah, but Ham. you're going to the better club, oh, yeah, right? But, yeah, but it's different. They offered me nearly double. I told you this. West, West Ham. West Ham did. Yeah, when wow. they were going throwing the money around, and That's you went to Tottenham, Tottenham instead. Yeah. They offered you double, so they're offering you 150 grand a week. Yeah, yeah. honestly, what's wrong with it? But would you? Would you? I mean, presumably, when you're you've got an agent that negotiates for you, right? Yeah. When yeah. he would go in to see whoever it would be at the football club. There's no way your agent would come out saying we've got the same amount for the next three years. It's all not all about the money, but you know that's what makes the world go round. You know, I'm not working for free today. Bent is not. Uh, honestly, I, I God, know you've God. come in for a packet of biscuits, and <laughs> <laughs> that's your thing. But I don't have a problem with people being mercenaries. If you like, it's, a, it's such a short career for a footballer. Yeah, for sure. I totally agree. Goalies are a different kettle of fish. Honestly, they are. The goalies you don't you don't get linked with that many different clubs. It's it's a it's a shame for a goalie, mate. Honestly, it's hard work. Like it's you got to constantly just wait for one spot to become available and then one might fill that and then the, the it's like the merry-go-round will start a little bit but still you've got to wait and hope and pray that it's mm. you that gets that thing so when you get offered it you bet most of the time you're snapping people's hands off Do you know you've got to say though and you're right I've been, any footballer earns whatever they, they earn I've got no problem with it whatsoever but as a fan they will I'll give you the quick example look at Aubameyang was incredible before he signed that new contract. The moment he signed that new contract, it was almost like the motivation just went. Mm. And we, we, we never saw the same Aubameyang. That's what Manchester United fans don't want with Casemiro. He's a guy who's won five Champions Leagues, one of the best defensive mid play, midfield players in the world, comes to Manchester United and down tools because he's got a massive bumper yeah. contract. Can I, can I add one, one thing to that as well is, as well, when, when you've got a squad of players like Man United have got on, you know, I, I think I went... 10 or 12 players down the list and still you were on 150 grand a week. Do you know what I mean? That's what it was. You've got that many high earners there. When you've got that many players on that higher wage, when when the sort of the chips are down a little bit and somebody might have a little niggle or like there's a lot of stress and pressure, it's so much easier for them to go, well, do you know what? I'm earning 150 grand a week. I can I can sit this one out. It's I've got a swollen ankle. I haven't got to push myself. And it does. It lends itself to that as well. You see it in football all the time. The, that there's that much pressure and stress in it now that people sometimes are looking for a for an option to not.